So if you proceed with the regeneration, you will undergo. Oh, tengok, I follow steps. Mati lah, abilah. That that looks very worrying. So what happens to these five molecules of G3P? So these five molecules, like I said, they will undergo reshuffling, rearrangement within these ten steps of catalytically active reactions. You can see that there's so much enzymes being used here, right? It involves isomerization, it, 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 it involves uh, phosphorylation, and these, some of these actually use uh, ATP here. Can you see anybody using an ADPH? You see? Now you learn another thing. There is an imbalanced needs of ATP and NADPH. You see, NADPH kind of used once here. However, ATP, you need here. When you want to re regenerate, you want ATP again. So that's why when you learn the light reaction, plants decide to do cyclic photophosphorylation. So that more ATP is, uh, is generated to satisfy the needs of ATP in the Kelvin cycle, right? So, in order to get three RUBP plus three carbon, how much NADP that you need? How much? Actually, for, for one CO2, right? Sometimes I forget this as well because my brain, when it comes to number, it just refuses to remember. One CO2, it will need two NADPH plus three NADPH. Is it written in, in there somewhere? I think it's written there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I put it here in summary. Ah, this, this sentence here. So at the end of the cycle, in order to, um, to assimilate each molecule of CO2, each molecule of CO2, you will need two molecules of NADPH, two molecules of NADPH, and three molecules of ATP. Eh, sorry, terbalik. Tak lupa. ATP. Apa NADPH dua kali? ATP. Yep. But that is only one CO2. If you are talking about the, 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 the net of it, this is the net, okay? Net. This is called net energy use. Because only this is this is the only one that will exit to get your sugar precursor but the reality is you use three molecules right if you are following the reality how much actually an adph and three atp so ini two times three 6 NADPH plus 2 3 times 3 9 ATPs that's that is one complete cycle this is the net this is complete cycle okay right okay so okay uh, up to that point now, uh, we'll continue this again.